A particle system in Fusion requires a minimum of two tools, a particle emitter and a particle render. The particle render can either create a 2D image or a 3D scene. While the 3D scene in many cases is more versatile to use, it also needs a Merge 3D, a camera and a Renderer 3D to produce the final image. Let's set the render end to 200 frames and play back while adjusting the particle system. Motion can be added to the particles by means of the velocity controls. Velocity variance generates different speed values for each particle. Very high values will result in particles moving into the opposite direction as well. Angle and angle variance define the initial direction of the particles in X and Y. Angle Z and angle Z variance define the direction and spread along the depth axes. In the Style tab, the look of the particles is defined. Predefined particle styles include Blob, Brush and of course the well-known Cooper's beer caps. Bitmap means that any tool on the flow which produces an image, like in this case the Fast Noise tool, can be used as a particle. For more accurate transparency calculation in the viewport, right-click in the display view and select Transparency, Quick Sort or Full Sort. In the Style tab of the Particle Emitter, there are also the Color, Size and Fade controls. Let's bring up the size and size variance of the particles. Size over life defines the rate of growth or decay from birth to death of the particle. Fade makes the particles slowly disappear rather than popping off at the end of their life. Animate defines if all particles look the same at any point in time or if each particle changes its look individually over the course of its life. In the Color over Life controls, a gradient defines if and how particles change their color while growing older. Adding Lifespan variance in the Controls tab creates a much more organic look in this case. In between the Particle Emitter and Particle Render, any tool from the vast set of particle modifiers can be used to create effects like gravity or wind. Particles can also bounce off any geometry in fusion. They can receive friction or turbulence. They can change their style, they can flock together and they can spawn other particles. Give them a play to find out more.